Well, it's Tuesday and day one of the lockdown. I'm out taking my allowed daily session of exercise away from home. And it's a cycle ride that I do regularly. It's become much more to me in these difficult times though than just turning the pedals. It's a way of keeping my health both mental and physical. So come along and enjoy the ride. In these strange days of self-isolating and social distance, to be stuck indoors is to get stir-crazy. So I'm very lucky enough to be able to get out on this, the Alban Way, a 14-mile former railway line now, a cycle and walking way between St Albans and Hatfield. It's a perfect exercise opportunity in these difficult days because whilst I'm bicycling I'm obviously not in close contact with anyone else and the track itself as you can see is pretty quiet so it's a chance to exercise to get some fresh air so it's good for your physical and mental health and it's a fascinating and beautiful route to cycle along for an hour. The architecture is beautiful. We pass under magnificent spans. This one is where the main rail line now crosses the old branch line. Normally there'd be traffic noise, schools would be open, you'd hear the buzz of the city alive around you. Today, everything's quiet, everything's under lockdown. Thank you. Back when the steam trains thundered along here, this up ahead would likely have been a level crossing. And I really admire the way that these barriers have been designed in tribute to the crossing gates that once swung backwards and forwards here. It occurs to me that the width of this track, which I suppose is about the size of a railway bed, must be roughly two metres, so it gives you a, a sort of visual reference for how far apart we need to be when we're talking to people that we don't live with. There's a platform or a halt roughly every mile along the route, and this one has the most intriguing name, Salvation Army. No, it wasn't sponsored by them, but near here used to be the printing works that produced the Salvation Army's newspaper, The War Cry, and this was a siding that allowed them to load those papers for distribution throughout the country. Pedalling along here, it's easy going, it's level, well tarmacked. It's quite therapeutic because your mind drifts away. You can forget the difficulties we're living under at the moment. So it really is a cycle of health. Thank you. Thank you. 
The daffodils are out, hedgerows are in blossom, the birds are singing. Wonderful spring-like surroundings. You wouldn't know anything was wrong until, of course, you start to wonder, where are all the people? Trains ran up and down here for the best part of a hundred years. But of course, there's very little to show of them now, except for this remarkable place. This is Nass Hyde Holt, and through the work of a local man called Mike and uh, willing volunteers, it's really been lovingly and painstakingly preserved and restored to something of what it must have looked like in the railway's heyday. Beautiful job. This last joyous skelter down through a deep wooded cutting brings us to the halfway point where we turn round. It's just south of Hatfield Station and where the path crosses the East Coast Main Line. Even that's quiet today though. Very few trains on the network. And this is the A1M. I don't think I've ever seen it as quiet, even in my childhood in the 50s. Very few cars, mostly trucks delivering food, medical supplies, the essentials that have to get through. So these are strange times we're living through and you wonder when normality will return and what it'll look like when it does. We'll see. I think one thing it does make you wonder about is whether anything will ever quite be the same again. A lot of businesses, a lot of names we know that will never come back. Perhaps people will get used to this way of living. Working from home, looking after each other. If that's the case then at least some good will have come out of COVID-19.